Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on my channel, my name is Julian and today is all about the MAM. So let's hop right in. So the MAM is unlocked at tier 1 field research where you can unlock it with the object center and some more neat stuff. If you build it and you haven't done uh, much then it will look like this. Everything is empty here and you're just wondering how, what, the, what is this, why do I need this? Well, I'm gonna show you right away. So. Let's first of all unlock everything. Um, this thing provides you with everything you need for a uh, bit more advanced uh, technologies, a bit more advanced uh, map things, weapons, uh, and all that good stuff. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna go through every single uh, branch right away. First of all, let's talk about hard drives. Hard drives are basically, this tab is basically there to give you um, the ability to find a hard drive or crash sites and then uh, research the hard drive uh, and you can get the alternative recipe out of it. Now, let's talk about alien organism first. So now, alien organisms is the first uh, real big branch you will unlock. Uh, you will unlock it at, just by killing one of the aliens uh, which are around here. Now, the first thing is alien uh, carpet, uh, carapace uh, and the alien organs. <clears throat> and just put, if you have one in the inventory, just click on research and it researches like basic stuff. Now, here you unlock uh, Bio biomass uh, production out of alien organisms, which is really useful, especially on the start uh, at the beginning. And then it gets more advanced, the rebar gun, uh, so basically a nail gun, which makes a lot of damage, uh, a hand slot, uh, object scanner improvements, and uh, things like that. That's basically everything. It's not a big deal and you have it really quick. This is uh, the base thing, let's say. Now I'm actually here in, in front of a Cathereum, um, Cathereum uh, node uh, and you will get them a bit later on in the game or you just be, um, are, are lucky and you find one, you just have to uh, get collect a few things and you unlock Cathereum. Now Cathereum is one of the most important branches in this game. Because you unlock, uh, you unlock Quickwire which is a massively, which increases your uh, computer production massively. You unlock inventory slots, of course, uh, some uh, not so useful things, but Blade Runners are the first really big thing you want to get right away because so you are 10 times faster than normal and you are significantly uh, more time efficient. And also Power Poles Mark II, which can, uh, whoop, uh, which can hold up to seven connections which is really useful compared to the four normal. Then uh, we're gonna get AI limiter, which are useful for the smart splitters we have here. Smart splitters I've talked in a video uh, a bit earlier. I'm gonna link it uh, up in the corner, should be about right now. High speed connectors, uh, again, just a crafting part. Then inventory slots. Then we have supercomputers. We unlock them here and not in the hub. Uh, so supercomputers are extremely important for everything, basically, especially for this thing here, geothermal generators. I'm also going to link the video for them up in the description. They are, they are it's pretty expensive here, but it's again, it's late game stuff. Uh, program is split again, the video uh, you've seen right away, and Mark three power poles. That's basically it, everything you unlock here. Uh, again, just the same as here, you just collect the resources, click on research, and it researches through everything. Now, let's hop right into the next thing. Now, one of the basic things you will get uh, right at the start is if you just collect some leaves or some flowers, you get uh, flower petals. You can uh, get a color gun with it. And the color gun is one of the best items I'm going to show you right away why this is so if you press the right click you can change your complete uh, color scheme you can change everything you want and you can also if you have uh, ammo you can shoot uh, on one on or the other thing and they just turn uh, into the color you want now that's basically everything in this thing 
Now let's get more advanced. Now, if you get yourself some quartz, which, which is around the map everywhere, I made a video again where everything is, which is also linked right here uh, in the cars. Uh, you unlock quartz. Now quartz is, um, with Caterium, the most important branch in the map. Because you unlock uh, Silicia, which is, again, uh, needed later on in the game. Crystal Oscillator, which are also later on needed. Uh, and you unlock the Explorer, for example. Now, the Explorer is a really, really funny vehicle. Uh, and it's really fast. And I'm going to show you very quick what I mean by it's really fun to, for, to drive. It gets up everywhere. It's just an all-round vehicle, which is pretty nice. Um, then you unlock the map, of course. The single most important thing, because uh, at the start of the game you can't access your map or you don't have access to, to it, uh, which is a big problem, especially at the start. Now you unlock radio control units. Um, they are needed later on for nuclear power, also really important. Uh, and you get radar technology. Now what radar technology basically is, don't mind, uh, I have a few mods installed. You unlock a radar tower, which uh, gets, which unlocks, uh, which uncovers parts of the map if it has power. But uh, they're not really useful because there is other method I'm going to show in the video, maybe some more in the future. And yeah, so radio signal searching is basically you can search for crash sites with your uh, object center. Yeah, that's basically everything uh, we have in Quartz. Let's hop right into the next things. Now, the next big thing is Sulfur. This is my favorite branch because you get a lot, you have a lot of fun with it. So you hop right here, Sulfur. Uh, just, again, just collect uh, one Sulfur and you unlock it. Uh, then you will have Black Powder, which you can, which you can craft into Nobelisk Explosives. So basically bombs. Uh, you need the detonator as well, and then you can have a lot of fun with it. I'm maybe I'm gonna make a video uh, just <laughs> of have me having fun with them. Uh, again, hand slot and stuff like that. And you unlock the rifle, which is the strongest weapon in this game, uh, next to the Xedo Basher. Uh, and it's just a must have in late game, because uh, you don't have any problem with any, uh, any uh, alien. And yeah, that's basically everything. Now let's see the last three things. They aren't really that important, but I'm gonna uh, do it every way. So the next thing is a bit more complicated. It's uh, mycelia, uh, which can be produced, which can be crafted into medical inhalator, and a parachute. Now a parachute is really nice because you can jump from really high up and you don't get any fall damage, uh, and the medical inhalator just heals you full. You don't need any food; it's just max health. Um, but mycelia is not that common. You get it from some trees and in some uh, regions, well, especially down in this region here. Uh, it's a lot of mycelia. Yeah, that's basically everything. Now, only nutrients left uh, and strange energy readings. This thing right here, we're going to get to it now. Now, for the next thing, you need those power slugs. They are everywhere on the map, really everywhere. You find them on every single space. And you just have to collect one. Uh, now, collect, collect, collect. And you have already researched the branch. Now, I'm going to show you what you need them for. Because, especially at the beginning, those are a bit confusing. But if you know where, why you need them, you're going to be shocked. I'll tell you. So, uh, power slugs. Uh, unlock power shards, which can be craft. That's just the crafting recipe and uh, the purple crafting recipe. So there are three different. There are greens, uh, yellow, and uh, purple. Purple ones can be crafted into five power shards, yellows into two, and green into one power shard. Um, now, what does this? Uh, what does this bring you? You can see here overclocking you enable overclocking. That means if you have, uh, let's say a constructor here, you can overclock it up to 250% so that it produces more uh, items, but it's also more fuel efficient, uh, fuel consuming. 
yeah, that's basically everything here. So let's hop on to the last branch. So the last thing uh, unlocks a bit uh, some food parts. You know, barrel nuts, uh, uh, the berries and the uh, mushrooms. Which this unlocks is basically just uh, you can scan for them. Nothing more uh, or nothing less. And also uh, a medical inhalator again, but not that uh, useful at, at all. So this was basically everything I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, just a quick overlook on the MAM, what it is and what the different features are. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a like uh, and subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about Satisfactory. I'm at the moment really trying to grow my channel and I'm really, really, really thankful for every like and every support. Uh, thanks for watching guys and have a great day.